101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. I popped that button off there the last time, too. And when I did, I couldn't get it back on. Let's see if it works. I think we're good. Hey, it right. still works. How about hey, that? Your technology, too, well, along with everything else. It's, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. I still haven't broken anything yet today <laughs> until now. Because I'm going to break your heart. Now, Aaron Lehman is here this morning, uh, and he was just here the other day for a whole nother purpose, but he's back with us today, Homer City Parks and Rec, and uh, he's got a couple of guests with him as well, Alexa Rossi and Misty Hunt with us this morning, and our conversation is brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest, Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Now, remember, you had Misty here last year. Yes. Uh, when you were getting ready to get rolling on the community garden. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that's what we're talking about today as well. Yeah, the first thing I wanted to talk about is the pool real quick. Okay. Okay, the Homer City Pool. Um, this year, uh, we are gonna we have new liners. So that's going to be nice to have with the pool. Mm-hmm. <coughs> um, right now, we're... Keeping our 2023 prices at 175 until the pool opens, so 175 for a family pass mm-hmm. and uh, $90 for an individual pass. After it opens, it'll be 110 for an individual pass and um, 225 for a family pass. Daily membership will be um, a family pass of $12 and an individual pass of eight. So we uh, are doing that. Um, you can go on our website hcparkparkandrec.com. And you can fill out your pool passes there. We also have pool parties. We have a, once again, we have the volleyball net that stretches across the pool so people can play volleyball in the pool. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun. So that's kind of a cool thing to be able to do in, in that respect. Um, on the first day, we're going to have a $3 admission um, in those first two days. The first day, the hours are going to be one thirty to 7.30, and the second day is going to be 12 to 6. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say. About uh, you know the pool, we're uh, looking for a great season. Hopefully, it's hot. Yeah. Hopefully, people want to come jump off the diving board, play volleyball, you know, swim. It, we're we're keeping it a true community pool, mm-hmm. so we don't want to raise you know raise prices a whole lot. And with everything going on in the county and yeah. with people and you know um, funds and everything, we just wanted to keep it affordable and save yourself a few bucks. Get exactly. Your passes now, right? Yes. Yeah. To rent. And then. I hand it over to the right. girls. Well, Alexa ladies. actually has, she has the, the T-shirt on and everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. the Homer City yeah. Community Garden and Learning Center. There, are, People can see it on the <laughs> Facebook feed. Good to have you both with us here today. Maybe if we could just grab that microphone like here and, and pull it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. That that fits you both. And then um, maybe if we I'll could. Move s- when Please. it's your turn. Oh, okay. It <laughs> nice. I'm going first. You're going to be on the nice. Well, Alexa, what do you have to tell us about the community garden? <laughs> um, we are opening the garden this weekend um, for our Earth Day celebration. <clears throat> uh, we're going to start the morning with our first um, co-op class with the Homer City Library. Um, this year is going to be a growing season, digging into the life cycle of a seed, and that's going to be from 1030 to 1230. Um, also in the morning, Trendy Trades is hosting a bag sale from 10 to 2, and all proceeds from that bag sale are going to benefit the garden. Um, And then in the afternoon from 2 to 4, we're going to have a celebration at the garden. We're going to be opening the garden, planting cold crops. Um, The girls of the garden have made some baked goods. We're going to have a bake sale. Um, We're going to have boba tea. Uh, We're going to have a beekeeping demonstration. And also the Boy Scouts made birdhouses to sell. Um, So come out and show your support for them. And there will also be some activities for the kids. Wow, that's a lot. (laughs) All in one day. Yeah. <laughs> and I think you did that all in one breath, too. I think I did. <laughs> she did it well. That was pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. Misty, what about you? Because I know this is a big thing for you, too. This is a big thing for me. But my, my main thing today is exciting to have another person. I have a new co-chair. That's who Alexa is. And she's been um, so so important to me and is helping me get all these things planned. And uh, she did a great job explaining what we're going to do this weekend um, we also have put th- a schedule together for our uh, workshops that are going to run Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Um, we'll post things on our Facebook. Facebook's the best way to find things uh, about us. But also I wanted to just say real quick that we have a monthly newsletter, which is also something that Alexa has taken off my hands, which is awesome. Um, and if you want to 
become a part of our mailing list, you can go to our website, which is homercitygarden.com, and on that first page, there's a place to sign up for that, and we can get you a little report every month to find out what's going on, and then for mm -hmm. more day-to-day -day updates, always check on Facebook, and then Alexa also puts things on Instagram, so we have social media presence there, as well as a website. We also started a YouTube channel. I don't know how much more we'll really add to that. That was more of an off-season thing, so there's at least three things up there about um, water bath canning tomato sauce, um, a fermentation um, a project, and then also some uh, things about herbs, how to make infusions, tinctures, and teas, and stuff like that. So if you need a little bit of information on off time, uh, you can check those out. Um, yeah, She covered it really well. I just also wanted to just put a real quick uh, couple plugs out for May 11th. We're going to have a royal tea party at the Homer City Alliance Church in their fellowship hall. And that's going to be our first little fundraiser of the year. Um, there will be more information on Facebook about that to pre-register. And then our big planting day is going to be June 9th. So mm -hmm. everybody should mark their calendars and come help us put some warmer things in the, in the, in the beds and Dang see man. all the neat stuff we've been up to. So I Dang hope everybody man. can join us this weekend. It's real informal, low-key, pop in. There's lots of stuff going on in Homer City. So I hope everybody can... Come enjoy our, our town for the day. Now, you said about the newsletter, is that delivered uh, uh, in paper form or electronically? Oh, that's an email. That's, that's an email. email. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you for that okay. clarification. There you go. Wonderful. Well, tell folks about the mission of the garden because it, it's I, I like the way that it's set up. Awesome, awesome. Our garden, um, sometimes people will say, oh, well, this garden does this and this garden does that. We, we kind of set ours up a little bit different. Ours is a really crucial uh, honor system where you can go in and pick the things. I try to go down and write what's ready to be harvested. We also pick the things for you and put them in baskets, but it's all free. No one has to pay anything to do it. We encourage as many people as possible to sign up to help us volunteer to, to maintain the garden and keep it uh, looking nice and, and make sure all the plants are well taken care of. But there's no obligation. If you need something for dinner that night and you know you need a tomato, stop down to the community garden and find one. There's all kinds of varieties. We try to keep it fun and exciting. And uh, so everything that we do is, is, is being funded from Parks and Rec, and we're really grateful for that. But then we've also done our own little fundraising on the side just to be able to do some more things and be able mm -hmm. to provide all of our workshops are free. Most of them you take things home, or at least you have a handout or something to remember uh, later on. Um, we, we just try, and then we will have, you know, some things that will be, you know, cost things to, so that we can continue the, the fundraising, but we're trying to keep them really low cost. Like for yeah. our, our tea party, it's only going to be $5 if you pre-register per person, and I thought that was a pretty feasible amount. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. Uh, and, and Alexa, uh, just, I'm, I'm sure you said it, but I, I missed it. Um, the actual physical location of the garden. Oh, it's on East Wiley Street in Homer City. Let's get you a little. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's in East Wiley Street in Homer City. It's where In Town Park is, where the pickleball fields and basketball court is. We're right beside the play gym area that's right beside that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And so folks will know where to go on, yep. <laughs> on Saturday and beyond. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Wow. It's, I, I know that you take great pride in it and uh, that folks really uh, enjoy participating in it. So. Best of luck to the community garden through the course of the season. When you have something else coming up, you just you don't have to wait we'll be for back to you don't have to wait for Lehman either. You just you just get in touch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just 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 do it. Yeah. Well, one thing I'll, I'll say this, um, Marissa, the another person that's on the board. I saw her yesterday at. Uh, the sit and stay cafe, and uh, she was talking about how you know, like she's like I've saved a lot of money because I'll go over to the garden and I'll get lettuce or I'll get tomatoes and I don't have to buy any vegetables because I can get it from there. Mm -hmm. And that's truly what we want to do. That's what the board wants to do. That's what, you know, the, the, the uh, committee is doing, you know, trying to make it a place. So, you, you know, with food insecurity, with again, people and uh, funds and everything like that, you can go and you can get some food for dinner and, you know, it's healthy for the kids. We have, the school is sending uh, field trips out there. We have parents that are saying my kids love the community garden so it's a really good thing. And the other thing is with Rob Nymick, he's getting a lot of grants for Homer City mm -hmm. and just, you know, having a community garden and other things there help do that. So it's just everything. is It's such a great thing for Homer City Center and Township and the surrounding community along with the pool. It's, just, it's great. So, I mean, it's just been phenomenal. Yeah. It's sort of old fashioned, too. Uh, it is. To have, have a community that uh, that rallies around a cause like this and uh, people can get together. They can meet. Uh, and, uh, you know, everybody gather at the community garden. Exactly. Nice. That's what nice. we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. 
Uh, give me the uh, pool information. Again. Okay, so uh, it's going to be $175 for a family pass right now, $90 for an individual pass mm-hmm. for the season. So, it, which, like I said, we wanted to keep it there. Um, you know, new liner. Um, you know, our lifeguards are coming back. And I'll, I have to say this, lifeguards are amazing. I mean, you have kids that are, you know, coming out. And, and I always say, like SpongeBob said, if I knew that being a lifeguard meant guarding people's lives, I never would have done it. But, you know, they, they're just, they're phenomenal kids. They, you know, make sure that the kid that the, you know, kids are doing the right things and everything else. So, yeah. you know, it's just, it's been, you know, it's amazing. The kids and just, uh, you know, Jan as pool manager is phenomenal. And, you know, we're just trying to make it so, you know, the community can, you know, have a place to just come. And uh, we have people from Blairsville, United, Indiana, all over the place also come here. And it's just, it's just, it's just a good thing. So yeah. it's very, very exciting, the stuff that's going on in Homer City. Very good. Really is. Really is. Hey, thanks, everybody, for coming in. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. It It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. CBS Sports coming up. It's now called Infinity Sports. That's on the way with Boomer. We do need this morning to get our Money Matters report in with Aaron Rail. President Biden is calling on the office of the U.S. Trade Representative to triple the tariff rate on Chinese steel and aluminum imports. Biden made the call as he campaigns in the battleground state of Pennsylvania. He delivered the remarks at the United Steelworkers headquarters in Pittsburgh, where he called for the existing 7.5 percent tariff rate on Chinese steel and aluminum to be hiked. The Biden administration says the price of Chinese steel exports is about 40 percent lower than the price of U.S. exports and that the tariff will provide a more level playing field. It's been a rough week for many who got that huge bill from the IRS, but one of the wealthiest Texans didn't mind. Michael Kastner reports. Mark Cuban took to social media to brag about paying $275 million in taxes. He said, I pay what I owe, and added that he's proud to pay an income tax that he called patriotic. The owner of the Dallas Mavericks has a net worth of more than $5 billion and says his tax bill is almost all from capital gains. It's no surprise that Caitlin Clark was the first overall pick in the WNBA draft in Brooklyn this week, but her salary pales in comparison to